All right, we're here at Kaleidoscope and we're talking to Brother Manchi from uh, Sons of Selassie. And um, tell us a little bit about your band, Sons of Selassie. How long have you guys been doing what you've been doing? And uh, what are you doing at the moment? And how excited are you as an older man, other than the youngsters that we just interviewed now, how excited are you about the music and Cape Town and what we're doing? African Musicians Trust, Gabby LaRue, Massa, etc. Tell us a little bit about how you feel. It's a lot of questions. I know! <laughs> <laughs> start with one! <laughs> I'll start at the beginning, yes. 1985 was the year when Sons of Selassie started in the fire, in the heart of the struggle. Yeah, apartheid, all of them. This, is the, this was the weapon used against the system. So reggae music has been always been the fight against injustice, inequality, human rights, peace and love and unity that we want to pro promote throughout the earth, right? So Sons of Selassie started 1985. We were the band running the whole scene at the time because the music scene did really go down during apartheid because of the state of emergencies and yes. things like that. And, um, we did continue the struggle, as we say, to Atamakamske, or the struggle continue, or Aluta continua. Mm. So still today, we see the world is still what it is, so we still have to contribute and make sure that we bring change. Absolutely. Yeah, through the music and through reggae music, which is a vehicle that we've been using all the years, and that's why we started at the base, and um, we did run the base, I think, for about four years, almost. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and we did do festivals at UCT and UWC and a couple of good op center. But because of the system, we were always kept out. Studios were scared to record us because of our lyrical content and stuff like that. Um, because of the political content? Yes, yes. The struggle continued. <laughs> yeah, the luta continued. <laughs> but anyway, 1990, we went into the studio to record our first album, which was five late years later. But because of our popularity, they had to record us. And we did our first album, 1990. We recorded the album. 91, we were still busy with the album. It was quite tough. But 92, the album was released. And our first album went international. Wow. So the world recognized us, but our country never still today. Which is a sad situation. We know that Lucky Dube was the biggest seller yeah. in Africa, but reggae music is still not what it is supposed to be in South Africa today. So yeah, big up to Glenn and people like Gabby LaRue, who's always busy with trying to push music and our artist's interest mm. and our future, which is the youth, you know. So we have to make sure that we lay a f solid foundation and that is what Sons of Selassie is about. So, yeah, that's me. Great, great. Can I, are you, are you, are you, now, I, I know we, you, you've come to the, the launch of the African Musicians Trust. You've been here with, with various other things and we've, always uh, tr stayed in touch and we've spoken about doing something I've been speaking to Roland about doing something with his reggae band as well but are you on board for a, a festival where we can help young people promote their arts you guys would obviously be a more mature act on the bill but are you keen to get involved obviously depending on whether you're available or not music it's music, there's no division. That's right. So if we come forward, we all come to contribute to make the youth, to make the youth a better future, to make for the youth a solid foundation. Yeah. So I'm on board when it comes to putting things together to forward our music, our music. Because it I'm is not a, gonna categorize the Because music. it is a music struggle. A it is a music struggle. It's a musical struggle. Absolutely. Yes, yes. So yes, I'm on Glenn. Just remember that Sons of Selassie will be there. So <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's yes. give a big up to Bro Manchi.